This is Govia's Lane in Watchet. I thought this is a particularly nice display of nasturtiums growing on the wall. I'm just heading on down to near the level crossing in the station to start recording some of the diesels on Watch It's D-Day. Not to be confused of course with the more important D-Day in Normandy. Anyway, let's think of happier things than people dying. Let's see some classic diesel logos today. Just by the Watch It um, warning sign. It's interesting that there are poppies in full bloom at the present time. And some leading up to the station itself. In fact, they're looking very nice. Flowers on Washit Station are looking quite a picture at the present time anyway. Thanks to Keith, I'm sure he's still working here as a volunteer gardener. That's a lovely display. It's too early for any staff to be here and upset with videoing going on, so uh, I'm going to make myself comfortable in one of those seats and I'll wait this train. It's unusual to have a freight train on this railway, even in one hauled by a diesel. Looking forward to seeing it. And all the other trains today will be diesel hauled. Where do you live now then? In Watchet. Oh, in Watchet, yeah. Down the what part? Up in Risen Road. Oh, I know, yes. Well, I'm the other end. In fact, I was a volunteer on the station for over five years, but now I don't even recognise the staff when they come out. Do you know what? The same with me at Croakham. I went there, used to go to Croakham. Yeah, regularly. yeah, yeah. And the last time I went there, <coughs> we went in the waiting room. There were so many staff in there, there was nowhere to sit. <laughs> yeah. And I thought, oh no, it yeah. all changed. They yeah. okay. a collection, I think they call themselves the Friends of Crocom Station. Yeah, yeah. And it was like a private members club in there, I felt. <laughs> yes, I, I've been in there and found it really packed with volunteers. So, um, hmm. I've been going to Willison quite a lot. Oh yeah, that's that's where I started as a volunteer, Willerton. Willerton, you must went there in there, I think. Yeah.
flower beds by the level crossing also looking very nice. Different coloured flowers. Just opposite us will soon be watch its own war memorial. That's the site being prepared and there's going to be a great big unveiling ceremony at the end of this month. Important dignitaries and various interesting things going on on that day. Oh, a lovely job of these gardens here though, haven't they? The uh, flowers are like a yes. real treat. Yes, it's a lot better since we've done all this. Yes, yeah, it certainly is. But it's um, a shame about the path. Yeah, you can hardly get through there now, can you? Goodness gracious, now There's another one where we live. Yeah, it's really overgrown there now. Yeah, that goes up towards St Decamus Church. Yes. They've just cut that one back. Right. Um, which is good, because she likes going up there. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah, some of it belongs to the council and some of, some of it belongs to... Somebody else, somebody yeah? Somebody else. And, and nobody seems, yeah, seems to know who's in charge of it now, it? now. yeah. Yeah, just re reminded that this is the teddy bear coming, so um, what's a teddy bear? Only where we enthusiasts would know. Look, look at the face. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> look at the shape of it. We did hear a little bit of diesel rumblings in the distance, so it won't be long. Like now, I think. They were meant to replace the old panniers, the old pannier tanks. Yeah. And uh, by the time they came out, all all that freight had gone. Oh right, so a bit the late. Sort of Taunton to Minehead, stopping at all stations with the freight train that had all finished. Yeah. So they say. So by the time they came out with design, they were finished. So they didn't have much so of a life. I within about five or six years, most of them were sold off to yeah. uh, uh, British Steel and oh, so stuff drank. like that. Hello, hello. hello. Dragged you back again then. Hello, <laughs> Bill, you too. Just on time. <laughs> Hello, you too. We're just about to go. We've just been train spotted. Yeah. I thought you might be. <laughs> yeah. First thing I saw was a black dog pulling a red it's lead. It's about time you got your scythe out. No, I'm not going that way. We're going that way.
There's some lovely bird, bird song going on in the background, but it's rather spoiled by some metal grinding noises down in the boatyards here. But uh, they've got to work on those ships at some time. <laughs> 